Lee Min Kyung is a picture of childhood grace and poise, but she says not beauty. What she sees are her small Asian eyes, but that will change tomorrow when this 12-year-old, with the permission of her mother, gets plastic surgery for more westernized eyes. If I get the surgery, my eyes will look bigger, she says. Do you think you'll look better after the eye surgery? I'm excited. I think I'll look better than I do now. She's not alone. Dr. Kim Byung Gun personally performs more than two dozen of these surgeries a day, as head of Seoul's biggest plastic surgery clinic, BK Dongyang. Looks like every single one is full. Yeah, and a patient's coming in and out, in and out, in and out. Patients of all ages, from middle age to the adolescent, like Ming Kyung. How many surgeries are performed per day in this clinic? Usually, a uh, hundred. A hundred a day. Yeah. yeah. It's not just eyelid surgery, but nose reshaping to elevate the nose and facial contouring to slenderize a typically rounder Asian face. When patients come in and talk about why they want these types of surgeries, what do they tell you? The Chinese and Korean patients tell me that they want to have some face like Americans. There are hundreds of plastic surgery clinics just in this one district of Seoul. It is an accepted part of Korean culture. Because of that, the history and the technique of the surgeons, it's why this place has become the plastic surgery capital of Asia. A tourist destination, most notably among newly rich, globally competitive mainland Chinese. 30% of Dr. Kim's patients are international, and of that group, 90% are Chinese. Two of them are Chinese doctors. Two of them, yeah, these two visiting, behind them, yeah. are the Chinese doctors. Ni hao. Ni hao. And it's why he speaks Mandarin. Dr. Kim says in Asia's increasingly global economy, he believes appearance is simple math in the equation of success. It's a financial investment in their life. It can have more than 100 times improvement than their investment. They can find a much better job if they have pretty faces. And to many here, a pretty face is a Western one, an image of beauty everywhere in Asia, from American models and superstars to wide-eyed Asian faces. An ideal Ming Pyong recognizes, pointing to this blonde woman as someone who she thinks is beautiful. And when we look at Asian models... Which woman is beautiful? Why? Why is she ugly? Her eyes, she responds. A global ideal doesn't stop at the face, says dental surgeon Jung Hak, who says he's been fighting a trend. Korean mothers bringing in their toddlers to have this muscle under the tongue surgically snipped. Why? The belief that it will help a Korean speak clearly in the world's language of success, English. Is that the pressure of globalization? For 10 years, there's been this crazy drive for early English education, says Dr. Chung. Mothers long for their kids to have better English pronunciation. That competitive drive is why Ming Kyung's mother says she's giving her daughter plastic surgery. Who wants the surgery? I want her to do it, she says. Do you think you're helping your daughter's future by giving her the surgery? Yes, I think it'll help her, she adds bluntly. This is a society where you have to be pretty to get ahead. She's my only daughter. On the morning of her surgery, Ming Kyung sits for a 3D photo session, gets a preview of what she will look like, and a final consultation with the doctor. Then heads into a 20-minute surgery she hopes will make her beautiful. And ultimately, it comes down to this, you know, it's a form of cultural imperialism, you know, but it's aesthetics, you know, it's the beauty myth. The surgery carries a totally different meaning to Asian-American activists, says L.A.-based writer Martin Wong. We spoke via Skype. Everything from children getting pushed into these eyelid surgeries to Asian adults westernizing their faces for globalization smacks of racial self-hatred, says Wong. They're making a statement about their own race, about where they come from, about who they are. They're not doing it on purpose. They're not saying that they think that they're inferior looking. They're not saying that they're ugly. But that's the message that they're giving, nonetheless. A month later, Ming Kyung and her mother email these photos, from before to after. Ming Kyung says she's happy with her new look. She's still dancing and now sees more than just her eyes. She sees a brighter future.
Kyung Law, CNN, Seoul.